We are in cold and flu season. It might feel like everyone around you, especially the kids, are getting sick. Today, we're going to talk about natural cold and flu prevention for children. Joining me now is Dr. Jen Shupi with Miles Naturopathics. And thank you so much for being here. Absolutely. It's my privilege. I cannot wait to talk about this because you know what? I don't want to get sick. And I think everybody else out there doesn't want to get sick right. either because it's a pain in the butt. So let's go over some of your top tips for natural immunity. Okay. So obviously prevention is the best cure, yeah. essentially, to try to avoid getting sick. I've spelled out immune <laughs> to help us remember <laughs> easy tips for kids, especially. Yeah. So I stands for increase the outdoor playtime. Mm -hmm. A lot of kids these days are not getting outside. They're not running right. around and they're spending too much time on their personal mm. devices. Yeah. Which in turn is affecting our immune systems. Right. You know, the lymphatics rely on basically surveying the blood. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the lymphatics is the system that takes the excess fluid and puts it back in circulation. Right, right. Um, and this relies on us moving in order to get that circulation to flow. Mm -hmm. And it's where a lot of our immune system hangs out. So a lot of our white blood cells are hanging out in the immune tissue. Got it. So that's tip one. M stands for microbiome support. Mm -hmm. Your microbiome is are the microbes that coat every surface of your body yeah and essentially are the first line defense and if you're not in good symbiotic relationship with them then they cannot protect you the way mm -hmm. they're kind of meant to you're not you know? functioning as you should be exactly and so you know a lot of pathogens try to hook on when they come down the gi track if you've got good microbiome support there, they're not gonna be able to attach. Right, so it's so true it's, what they say when it all really comes down to like the gut and the microbiome. It, it, really, it really does. does. Yeah, and the second M stands for more plants in the diet. Mm -hmm. I mean, plants are, are healers yeah. and essentially ha are so rich in vitamin A, vitamin C, like in kale and carrots, um, vitamin C rich foods like um, citrus, yeah. Um, you've got uh, your bell peppers. Mm -hmm. Those nutrients are essential for turning on an immune response. Right. So making sure you're eating and the kids are eating their vegetables, <laughs> which they don't want, <laughs> but pushing those towards them so that their, their immune system is ready right. to, to respond to something that, that could potentially make them sick. And I want to ask you too, because you'll see a lot of, there's a lot of smart advertising out there and sure. there's a lot of juices and things, but usually going straight to the food itself is the best, right? Absolutely. The best way to get the most concentrated. Absolutely. I mean, your highest content of, for vitamin A, which turns on both an antibacterial and an antiviral response, is kale. Right. Okay. <laughs> eat well, your kale. Eat your kale. You know, right. I like, is it cooked okay? Because sometimes raw yes. is a little tough yeah. for me. <laughs> sure. Yeah. No, cooked is fine. Um, and and in having it in multiple forms is great. Yeah. You know, diversity for the microbiome okay. um, and more plants. U stands for up the sleep. So there's been research that showed essentially that um, in issuing a vaccine, they actually tested a group of patients who had had adequate sleep mm -hmm. and compared them to patients who had had less than adequate sleep. What they found is the antibody response measurable in the body after adequate sleep and the same vaccine mm -hmm. was more robust in the group that had wow. adequate sleep. Okay. So that's just a picture of kind of what our immune system, it's so integral yeah. to, to our sleep, I mean, to our immune system in general, but especially if you're trying to turn on the immune response, mm -hmm. not skipping out on sleep is really important. Right. So there's that piece. N stands for no sugar. No sugar, basically, because sugar blunts the immune system. It's been shown in research at Loma Linda University a little old, 1973, but still, um, to blunt the immune response for upwards of five wow. to six hours. That's crazy. So, yeah, right? Basically so, kind of putting an off switch on your body's defense. Right, exactly. So if you wanna keep your immune system going, cut the sugar, mm -hmm. keep it minimal in the diet in general, especially with kids. You know, yeah. the candy, we're coming up on Halloween and they're gonna mm -hmm. get exposed to all this candy. <laughs> keep it out if you want them to stay, stay, stay healthy. healthy. Yeah. yeah. So, and then E stands for exercise, you know, making sure kids are moving. Mm -hmm. um, they're not um, getting outside as much as they used to. Right. So this is, you know, we wanna help their immune systems really fight off the stuff they're gonna get exposed to at school. Uh, we talked about 
so much prevention, which is great. If you do happen to get sick, um, I know you brought some things yes, here to kind of absolutely. natural ways to alleviate. Let's talk about that really quick. Yeah, so in terms of a, a flu situation, what would, which would be a little distinct from a cold, where you have the influenza virus going on, mm -hmm. you know, and you've got those symptoms of fever, chills, et cetera. Um, elderberry syrup, I'll just point to it. If yeah. Right. Um, elderberry syrup, I got this from Earth Fair and um, right here in town. Um, basically has been shown in clinical trials to be um, active against viruses in general, but specifically the influenza virus. Oh, okay, good causes. to know. Yeah, and it's, it's essentially a food, right? Yeah. You wanna look for a form that has no sugar, no added right. sugar. Um, and honey, you also have to be really careful with. If you have a child that's under two, Mm -hmm. You do not give them honey. No honey. So watch an elderberry syrup. Sometimes they'll combine it with honey. So check the ingredients. Definitely. All right. And, and it looks course. like we got some nice teas here. And yeah, herbal teas. And you know that can be soothing on yeah. the throat oh, to have sure. something warm. Um, echinacea is known to be just supportive of the immune system. Mm -hmm. And then of course vitamin C in the emergency packets that I brought. Again, look for one that doesn't have added sugar. Yeah. yeah. These I found, like I said, at Earth Fair, and they have no added sugar in the white sugar form. They do have some sweeteners, like, but in okay. more natural forms. So. Well, Doctor, should be great tips there. Thank you so much again Absolutely. for all of your help. We love all of your tips as always. We'll be right back after this break.